So the big one would be cloud repatriation. So over the years ago, I've written extensively about the growing trend of cloud repatriation. I push back against the narrative that once enterprises move to the public cloud, there's no going back. And so this was kind of uh, technological blasphemy at the time based on the messaging in the marketplace. Obviously, the public cloud providers, everybody was doing this. Everything's going to move to cloud. You know, it's just a matter of time before all of our workloads end up on one of the big three cloud providers. And you might as well not delay things and make those moves. Uh, and I saw something a bit different. I was working with clients and, you know, understanding and monitoring the industry in general. I saw people overpaying for their cloud resources. And I say, okay, well, if that doesn't get correct anytime soon, and then in many instances, it's going to be more uh, financially viable for them to move their workloads and their data sets, you know, back to their on-prem systems, because those have gotten very cheap. They've gotten incredibly cheap, you know, over the last 10 years versus what you're going to be paying for public cloud services. So the times that I wrote about this, and there's links in the description for all, the, all of these articles, basically, when I put them out, um, got a lot of pushback uh, to the point where people were reaching out, you know, to people I was working for, didn't, didn't talk to me, and asking uh, that I be uh, set straight or, or disciplined in another way, or as in many instances, that I shouldn't be working for the company. Normally, these were partners that the company I was working for, the firm I was working for, had established, and they're going in to these people to put pressure on them to put pressure on me. Now, the good news is it doesn't matter to me. That kind of stuff rolls off my back. Uh, it's a, would be a bit bothersome. And if I think I received pressure from people I was working for, or even some of my clients, to change my opinion or modify my opinion. Because at the end of the day, I was speaking the truth. And if they had a problem with that, that was their problem. That wasn't my problem. Repatriation articles that I wrote extensively over the last many years, these became kind of lightning rods uh, for... Um, people who were pushing back against my opinions. And this was, I was early money on the repatriation stuff. People didn't want that out there in the zeitgeist and they were a bit hostile to it. So next would be the hidden costs of clouds.